Hi guys, Ticker536 here, another video for you today. Okay guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to update your BIOS. There's four steps, and you're going to follow all of them precisely so you don't break your BIOS. Okay guys, so let's get straight into this. The first thing you want to go and do is go to Run, then type in msinfo32, click OK, go to System Summary, then to BIOS version slash date, and note this down as we will need this later. Okay guys, so the next thing you want to go and do is go to your manufacturer of your laptop's website, go and download the latest BIOS update pack from there. So it can be your laptop or PC um, manufacturer or if you've got a custom PC that will be your um, then it will be your um, motherboards, motherboards manufacturers um, BIOS. So go and check their, go and check their website as I'm doing Samsung. It's mine, so I go and check Samsung, and you go, go, go do the same. Download the update update pack, as we will be needing that now. Okay, guys. So the next important step you want to do is read the um, README pack, read the README document or instructions or manual or whatever. Any information it comes with, you should read it so that you don't get caught out. You don't break your bias. This can break your computer completely. Okay, guys. So the next thing you want to go and do is run dot it. EXE file. .exe file. If you haven't downloaded it already, go and download it off the manufacturer's website and run it and follow the instructions in the uh, in the pack because um, potentially um, it could break your BIOS if you do this wrong. As I've said, it's a, um, just break your computer. So take good care of this. Follow the instruction precisely um, and do that and follow and update your BIOS. Um, it's quite self-explanatory. Um, yeah, and so something, and also if they don't have any BIOS updates, then you can't do this, obviously. And also, I have to say that there is, if you want to mod your BIOS, you can mod your BIOS. Don't, I would recommend not doing it because you can break your computer so easily because some of them are corrupt and it's just not worth it, in my opinion. So, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Any comments, stick them in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.